Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in the last episode, we added a coal mine to our list of outposts. Uh, that being right over here, we also did some exploration, and we haven't found a lot. Hmm. We may have to keep on going, um, but we are getting huge uh, ore patches, uh, 208 million. You can see the size is also much bigger than what we've had before. This one is 173 million versus like closer stuff. This is 43 million. This one was big at 79, but yeah, those are getting a bit bigger. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. It is pretty, pretty cool uh, that we're getting these larger ore patches. Hopefully we'll keep on discovering more with the radars. We might uh, end up maybe building some of these outposts out and then um, exploring a little bit more. But for now, we've done quite a lot of that and I want to get back to our factory. So one of the things we were going to build um, was going to be materials for making nuclear power. Now, I don't know, do we have those things researched? We do have heat exchangers, steam turbines, and heat pipes. Oh, here's the reactor right there. Okay, so these need a bunch of stuff. Uh, they really need a lot of stuff. What I'm thinking is, okay, so concrete is inconveniently located up here. But I'm thinking maybe we just build another concrete maker. There's no... no nothing saying it has to be there, and I don't want to use robot trips to get it um, from place to place. So I think we could actually build a concrete maker out here to satisfy, uh, the requirements of this nuclear reactor. Now these require a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, we need heat pipes and heat exchangers and steam turbines. They all need copper plate, like mountains of them. So this is a section where we probably want to do multiple splits off the bus, even though, they need them. What what I found in the past is if you put them on the same assembly line, like one of them will just eat all the copper and you won't get any other products. So it's kind of kind of icky sometimes. What we could do is we could do a split off the bus and then split it into two lines. That's another, you know, I've never done that. We should do that. We should do it because I haven't ever done it. Um, another way of doing it is putting them... Uh, across from each other. That is another way to do things. This needs also steel. We could split it into three. But I think we should just probably get stuff off of... Um, just off the bus. Okay, so that'll be fine. Um, Where do we want to start? Let's start here. Let's just start... Well, actually, let's, um, let's start here. And we'll take... A, we'll have two lines coming here and this will be steel and copper. We're going to need to do multiple of these um, because these are very intense kinds of uh, recipes. These are going to be heat exchangers. These also need pipes. These need pipes. Maybe we can put pipes in between. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, if we put pipes here, and these can go on another belt there, that might be nice. So we'll do... Let's see, make pipes here. pipes are not where you would think they would be of course not why would they be there that would be silly oh my gosh why would it be there <laughs> okay here there okay and and then um oh these need gears not steel what am i thinking these are the wrong thingies I think we wanted to do these. Yeah. Okay. That's the right one. I was like, why isn't this looking right? So that's why it's not looking right. Okay. There we go. So let's put these into boxes here. We can even use these and that's fine. And we'll limit these exchangers. I think we need that many heat pipes. We need that many probably. Um, here we go. Okay, so these are happening. That's great. Now, 
this thing needs the this one yeah we needed pipes and gears for this i think we can add gears here maybe uh This is a bit messy, but I don't care. All right. Then you grab them here. Yay. Okay. So now we're making those. So let's copy this from there. I think that's about enough turbines for now. And then we need more copper. And so then the next line is going to be this exact same thing, I think. Um... Let's just do a thing like this and copy this line here for, yep. This is going to be for this one as well as the reactor. This feels really silly to make this thing so wide, but like I said, from previous experience, this is almost what you need to do um, because of the vast amounts of material that these items, that these things use. So that goes in rather than out. Let's add this here. I should put it there. So this also needs other materials, of course. Now these probably can use these guys. Actually, that one, not so much, but these probably, why don't you do this? There you go. Entertain yourselves. Okay, so now this one is also gonna get copper here eventually. We need the advanced circuits also to come along this line. Uh, I think we can just add those here. Uh, these are red circuits coming along. So now we are getting into a little bit more complicated. Turning of the bus can be a little bit interesting at times. But that's okay. We can make it work. Let's make that sure that goes the correct way. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, should we... Actually, you know what? We can have red circuits coming in here. This can eat them all up. It is fine. Um, let's let's extend this actually and do that. And here we'll do this, and we'll have concrete coming from the upper side, shall we? I think that will work quite nicely. So this is going to be concrete. So we need iron ore, stone brick, and water. Oh boy. This might be a case of shipping in that iron ore. The water is not too far. It's actually right over here. The stone brick we have on the bus, which is here. Um, hmm. I think we can grab this stone brick just right like this and just carry it along on this little kind of alley that I have over here. And if we move this up like there, that's going to work very nicely indeed. We can do this and have a that going there. Let's get, oh, is that absolutely perfect? It might be, it might be. Okay, let's take this over, uh, excuse me. Oh, it's one off, it's fine though. It is just fine and fabulous. All right, so now all we need is the iron ore. I have no idea uh, how I'm going to make that happen. Let's see. Where is iron ore? So the closest is here, and I think that's too far. I think, um, well, technically... The closest is here. Ooh, that's sexy. We could have that coming up this way. I think that's a good idea, actually. I like that. Let's see, go here. No, it's too long. That's fine. Oh, well, whatever. It'll be fine. Okay, uh, 
and it doesn't need much, right? It just needs like one iron ore. Yeah, just one. So we can just use a regular fast inserter to go there. Wow, how did I get out of lack of undergroundies? That is weird. Super weird. Okay, so this iron ore can come up from here. Okay, get rid of that. Okay, so there we go. That's nice. I wonder if I just wasn't in a roboport zone. Yeah, this area is not covered by roboports, but it needs to be. So let's put down a roboport here because all these boxes, we need to get stuff out of them. So you go here for your concrete and then let's put this say there and we can put in our nuclear reactors into a box. I'm going to use this guy. And I'm going to override the stack size to be one. And what this does is if you want to have a certain number of nuclear reactors. So these things are super expensive. They cost 500 of each material each. So if you're going to have a stack size of X on your inserter, it might uh, fill the box more than you would want. So um, if we look at our nuclear reactor um, thingies, we have um, mostly, I think I use six when I add on, I do like six at a time. So I think I would like to keep six in this box or maybe 12, maybe we'll do 12. So we're gonna say if reactor, because uh, you know, if you think about building like two at a time or, or building one set and then you want another set available. So I think if we have it, if it's less than 12, then keep on making them and keep on putting them in. So there we go. Okay, there we go. So we have uh, that ability now. We just need the concrete. So we'd have... What's going on? No water. What? Hello. Oh, yeah, that... that what? Huh? How? How did that happen? That's weird. Okay, anyway, it's fixed now. It's working. Um, I might actually use a faster assembler with this concrete here um and what we could have done i guess well one of the things that would have been nice is to have the um it it'd be a direct uh transfer but it doesn't really matter it's not fast enough to worry about that anyway so where is our assembler? Okay, we have one. Okay, that's nice. Oh, that's sexy. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to grab a couple of modules here, speed modules, and make this go faster. So, yay. So now this is going at a speed of plus 120%. So that's nice. So that should be able to make this a lot faster. Um, is that worth it? No, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it is not. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is do something different. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to completely revamp this whole thing. And this one is going to go on the outside here. We're going to make multiple assemblers instead of using expensive assemblers and all this silly, silly stuff like this. This is going to be a far better idea to do. So concrete. And we want to do that. Okay. And then we're going to take this and go like that. So we have room to put our thingies as well. 
Okay. It's fine. Be a tiny bit more messy, but we don't care. Messy is fine. We'll only care that it works. That is the important thing. As long as it works, it works. I mean, there's no criticism to be had. So let's take these. Remember, you always want to put the bricks or the, the most used components. We need five bricks and one iron ore. So we want to have that closer. I mean, here we could actually have a regular inserter. We don't need a stack inserter there. That's kind of important, I think. Whoopsies, let's do this. And I think it's okay to have it on one side of the belt. We don't need to have it on, on both. I think it's fine. So this is a better uh, thing than having one just like speed modulated to death. I think that's kind of silly, actually. We don't need any of this. We just need regular belts here. And there we go. Then we'll be able to get all the concrete we need, really. Okay, looking good. So this still needs a whole bunch of concrete. We need more red chips. Those are not forthcoming because we have no red chips. Okay, that's not great. So uh, I think I'm gonna keep on uh, making, let's make a couple more of these. Uh, I think what we can do is if, I think we can do, um, let's see, turn that one inward and then the excess can be put into a box. And the reason for this is we might want to pave uh, stuff, pave the world. So let's do like that many. Oh, we never made landfill. Shoot, <laughs> we can make some here. Uh, let's see, I think it's just stone. Yeah, it's just stone. So if we take the stone from here, let's say put it up this way. And I'm not really caring where this is because this is just going to be landfill. We don't need to make anything else here. We're just kind of using some of that back space that we generated uh, with the other bits there. Okay. And just go away here. So we'll just make the landfill right here and put it into a box. We'll just do these two like that. Landfill. Okay, and we're gonna copy this box like this. Oh wait, we don't want that. We wanna have a bigger thingy because this will make 10 at a time, I think. No, it just makes one at a time. Wow, okay. I guess we could use a, a, a yellow inserter there after all. Let's see, we probably don't want, yeah, this is enough, I think, that's fine. Okay, so this is already getting taken to go to the train and the train will deliver it when it, wherever it needs to go. Uh, we've been trying to turn off the landfill needs of stuff, but um, yeah, here we go. So what are you missing, dude? You're missing gears, ooh. Huh. I kind of think that two, three, um, we could do a, I'm going to move some things real quick. Okay. So that will remove this one. We'll do two gear makers here and two pipe makers. I think that would be better. So copy these and put them there. And wait, will this work? Um, maybe. Can I get some? I want a blue undergroundy. Let's get some blue undergroundy. Yep. 50 of these. Oh my god. I've, let's see. Can I move this copy paste? No. Can't move it. I should have left another line there for the three across. Um, There we go. That's what I wanted. Zero. Double zero. Even less than zero. Okay, let's do belts. 
I'm going to put in like a hundred belts because I don't actually want to use blues yet. Okay, arithmetic combinators, I need to move down here. And then we need the splitters, blue, yes, okay, thank you. So we have enough. So one of the things that you can do, so I'm going to be really sneaky right now. We're going to put uh, this to there. One of the things that you can do with uh, belts is called belt braiding. So I'm going to show you how this works. It's kind of cool. Um, what you need is two different colors of undergroundies. So we'll do something like this. This is how I usually do the labs, actually. And then you can also do uh, this. Okay, so so what we have here is we have two different colors of undergroundies, right? And I'm going to show you how this works. So if I put a, um, say, signals, we'll just Z some signals on here. You can see it will only go through the red bits and it'll end up on red land. But if I use wire on the blue ones, it'll go through the blue ones. Now, don't ask how this works. It's magic. But they don't mix. They don't mix. Um, you have to be very careful if you upgrade this design and not make them all the same color, like this. Then you're going to be in trouble. Then they will all mix together. So just be careful how you use this and how, and how you upgrade it, because... I, I will tell you, everybody has made that mistake of upgrading. It's like, oh, no, I got to start over. Now, for this situation, we're trying to get the iron to each of these machines. So we're just going to do this and this and that and that and that give us a nice. So now we have two machines of each making the um, the pipe and the gears for these other machines here. Which is great. It is pretty great. Now, do we need... We're going to need the landfill out here, but we don't actually have our roboports that far yet. We can We can actually do this. Maybe we should. And let's do it. Let's just do that. Let's take this um, and kind of spread these out and go as far as we can here. Uh, so that we cover these lakes and that we can actually get this moved along. Okay, the next one is not in range. So what we want to do here is get landfill. We need to request some. Sure, 100. That's fine. Oh, why is this disconnected? Oh, this is too far of a distance. Whoops. It's fine, though. We'll get it. We'll get it. Okay, so they should be bringing me some landfill here shortly. Uh huh. <laughs> Hello, where is it? Not here yet. Bots. It's not that far. There it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the largest square I can of landfill. That's it says twelve. Maybe we do wait twelve. Oh, we only have twelve. I think. We only have 12. Maybe we need to wait for more to get crafted. Where is it again? Oh, I don't see it. I keep losing it in the menu. There it is. I'm going to put it on the on the task bar for, uh, or the hot bar, and just to see how much we have, and then we'll place it. Because what I want to do is place it on the ground and then make a... Or do I need to do that? I don't know if I need to do that or not. Let's put in a radar out here as well, so we can actually see what's going on. Uh, okay. I'm going to put it right by the lake. That seems fitting. Okay, there we go. So, I think, actually, I don't think we need to have a pattern here. We can just shift-click this, and hopefully it will just cover all the, the nasty bits here. Nasty bits. I, don't, I shouldn't call it nasty bits. Um, it does look like it's doing something. So, yeah, I don't know. I hope it is. Too bad, but those lakes are not meant to be here, apparently. Yes, we'll just go with that. All right, let's copy this bus pattern as well. Take that along with us, and the bots can work on that while we're, while we're doing stuff. Also, I want to get... Let's see, I'm going to put the bricks in... Uh, exclusion land 
And instead, I want to request concrete. So we need probably, I don't know, 500 or something. Or, or we can do a different thing, which is easier probably. Let's get concrete. Uh, in fact, let's not request concrete at all. And we're going to get the concrete and we're just going to make a small area of traversal as in a travel area. Uh, okay, let's go into map mode. Uh, when you're in map mode, it's easier not to trip on rocks and stuff and <laughs> just make this a little bit more easy. All right, let's put this whole thing up here in concrete. Why not? And the next line as well. Okay. Let's just do a couple of these areas in concrete. Why not? There we go. Now that's a lot of concrete that's going to need to be made, but that's okay. What I'm going to do also is I'm going to go back up to the these guys and put in a request for concrete or a request for bricks. So this thing is going to be recycling these bricks that we're going to pull up. Because remember, we did actually pave some of this area in bricks. So I'm going to put in a logistics request for bricks, say like 200. And this is going to recycle all of those. So input right, input priority on the right. There we go. Okay, and so here is concrete. And we already have a ton of it, which is great. So, yep, this is going to be just fine. Uh, this is going to be just fine. We have enough. We just need more circuits. Okay. What are you looking for? Uh, you're still looking for these darn things. I think this is emptying because it's going to the train. I was like, what? Surely it's created some by now. Um, one thing that you can do is look here. It says, um, assembly machine two, it's finished 42 of these things. I'm like waiting for them. But what's happening is that because the building train has a nuclear car, they are all going to the building train, which is great, which is absolutely great. Now, do we have some straight coastline? This is actually relatively straight. That might do pretty well, actually, for nuclear power. Um, it has to be kind of long and straight. And this seems pretty good. If we move this... Uh, Man, moving a train line is a pain in the socks. But, but, um, it might be worth it. We could even just go down and across. I think that's probably better. Make it more square to use that area. This is also a nice area up here. That actually might be better for the first nuclear area. Uh, let's see. We have, how much material do we have here? We've got 30. Oh, wait. Wow, okay, I was looking in the wrong box. We have 36. Boom, that's exciting. Um, also, why are why is this so slow? Are we lacking purple science? Let's see. We might be lacking purple science because that's usually usually the rarest one. Like if you look at this and see, ah, okay, we've got plenty of blue, probably. Red and green is always functioning. Purple though, hmm. Yep, it looks like purple. What's going on with this? Productivity modules. Okay. Because we have what? We have nothing. Um, okay, we've got green circuits here. And no red circuits anywhere. Why don't we have any red circuits? Looks like oil or uh, plastic is struggling. Why is that? Why are we not getting coal? Okay, where is this? Let's see. Can we click this? Um, where is the thing to go to the map? There's got to be a way. Oh, here it is. Map. Okay. So, hello. Wagon is wrong. Oh, no. All right. This is my bad. I, I, mm-hmm. So what happened is this has been filtered for copper, which I didn't think about. And what we need to do is have it filtered for coal instead. Uh, the filtering, you can leave them unfiltered, but it's just a safety precaution for, I can't tell you how many 
uh, series I've had with trains filling with the wrong cargo, that kind of thing. So this is, it's nice to have filtered and filtered inserters and all that kind of stuff. Okay, the easy thing is you can copy paste. So uh, shift right click, shift left click, left click, left click. That applies to you too. Thank you very much. There you go. So if we click this car, there we go. We can see the coal. Wowie, what a pain in the socks. I should have take it, taken that train out there. I should always ride the trains out there. It's kind of a feeling of like, oh my God, are people going to get bored watching this on YouTube? And I'm like, oh my God, she's going on the train ride. Um, you know, because people get bored very quickly. That's why we have YouTube shorts and TikTok and things like that. Um, but sometimes, you know what? We can take a chill ride out there. There is no reason we shouldn't. There really isn't. Okay, so this area, this is, is it under the influence of things? Some of them are, some of them are not. Let me go ahead and fix that a little bit. We want to grab another one of these um, roboports. Put it as close as possible to the lake and then add a power pole there. And then we need to go up as well. So if we do a, oh my God, it's so hard to see. Eh. Okay, let's put one there. There we go. Is that close enough? Yes, it is. Okay, good. So those will get done. And now, no, 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 no. Have we made any of these? Zero so far. It's the circuits. But soon, soon we shall have coal. These have not been upgraded yet because probably no circuits. Yeah, because we need the circuits to make these guys. We haven't actually made very many of these, have we? We've only, well, 279. Where are they all? I'm wondering. There might be in the train. Um, and of course, we have upgraded some of the things. Oh my God, we have some modules. Hooray. This is exciting to get actual modules. So we're going to want to place those in. Um, well, first of all, I, the, the most, um, the best place to put modules is in the labs. You want to put them in the labs first because these are the thing, this is the most expensive thing that you have. So you want to place your modules in these first. So we're just going to, uh, it's control left click to place them. We place them in the ones closest to where the cars load. That's the best way to do that. Now, are we making, oh, I didn't add factory search. Oh my God. I missed so many mods. I don't know why I, I didn't do that many. I don't know. It's dumb. I should actually change this to the, the nicer concrete. I don't like this concrete at all. It's not pretty. There's a, this one looks nicer, the refined concrete. It's better, I think, but it's more, a lot more expensive. Obviously it uses regular concrete plus iron sticks, plus steel plate and water, all the things and all the stuff. It's crazy. It's a lot. Um, so what do we want to do now? We want to see if we are making beacons. I don't think they are in the mall. Let's just check. Night. They don't seem to be in the mall. So we'll put them in our like new mall and that'll be fine. We'll put them over here somewhere. So let's find out what need, what we need from beacons. So beacons are a special building that you can put nearby other buildings and they boost the modules inside. I'll show you how that works in a second. Let me uh, add these copy paste. Okay and beacons they are these things steel plate copper cable circuits uh yeah steel plate copper cable i guess i could use this line maybe there's nothing around here that's using circuits eh. okay it's fine we'll just use this we'll just go up here and be it'll be fine and I'll, I'll have the circuits come up here. So this is going to be red and green circuits, maybe. Uh, hmm. I 
Actually, it has to be here. Hmm. I think I'll put it here on this side, actually. I think that's going to be better altogether. A little bit better, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Sneaky, sneaky. If you can fit it in. There's some really nice exercises in the game that I think almost nobody looks at because, because they're kind of like, I don't know. Um, you only ever do them when you're a beginner in the game and you're like, oh, what's this feature? And then you never play them again. It's always free play after that. Okay, so here we go. Here is this. So we're going to need a copper cable. That's important. How much do we need? 10 copper cable. It's fine to do. How, they take 15 seconds of craft time. Yeah. So copper cable can just feed directly into this machine to make the beacons. And by the way, it's very okay to have kind of messy stuff like we're doing right now. Uh, because uh, we don't really need to like have a cohesive mall structure. If you want a mall, I have a mall. The big mall looks like this and it is so tuned to like each thing needing different stuff. Um, but it's less, I think it's less, um, I don't know, because it takes less um, lines from the bus. It sometimes items take longer to craft and stuff like that because, you know, other things are taking more of the materials and stuff. So Anyway, it can have disadvantages as well. Here, take these. We need beacons. Uh, let's take a box. There you go. And craft. Do your thing. So these beacons are going to be used for... Firstly, I want to grab some for myself, so I'm going to change that for now. Do we have any of these? No. Why? Yeah, I, I don't know. That's silly. But I want to show you how these things work. That's kind of important. But that's going to take a tiny bit to craft for now. Let's see. I want to grab a this. Thank you. And I think we're good. This has made zero. Uh, that zero makes me so unhappy. All right, we have two beacons now. Wanted to make a couple more. All right, so is there anything else we need from here? Okay, we do need, it looks like stone is kind of flagging a bit, a lot. Oh, we may need an injection of stone. Well, maybe not an injection. We just need stone altogether. So this is our stone uh, stop, I believe. Yep. No, that's coal. Stone should be here somewhere. Here it is. Here's stone. Um, where is a good spot to pick up some stone? There's coal there. Uh, we all, we have all this stone along the railway, which is, doesn't help us at all. But let's see. Anything? No. I think these radars are kind of run out of, uh, searching power. Oh, there's copper. That's nice. Those two copper things. Stone down here. We could... We could actually tap this thing and just bring it up. Um, that might work pretty well if we do that. If we just grab a line going, let's see, is that upward? That's down, okay. So hard to see in the dark. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, so here's the stone mine. We can actually tap that one and bring... Maybe we bring one line to the... to the furnaces, which are making the bricks. You know what? We could move this all together. Oh, that's even better. I like that idea better. Okay, let's take this out for now. And we'll build a furnace for stone bricks here. I think that's a better, better, better idea. We'll also 
kind of avoid these pipes as much as possible and just kind of join it this way. Nope, I tried to get rid of that. It didn't work. Okay, I think I want to go down there to actually make it work. So let's run ba back down there. Also, we're, I paved this. I don't like to pave the whole factory because I think it looks terrible. But we're paving this basically because it makes us run faster. Until we get the spider tron, it's nicer to run faster. Okay, here we go. And we need one of these there for the crossing. Okay. One here for crossing as well. And we have to be very careful. This is an active train line. Hmm. So do not uh, risk yourself. It is not advisable. Actually, we can do maybe like this. These guys do have AOE around them. Now, I've heard people ask me sometimes about like, hey, if they have this AOE, why are you putting them so close? Like really close together like I normally do like this. Um, and that's because I want throughput. I want more items per second. Uh, granted, the the area will last longer, but it's it's kind of all the same anyway. If you um, if you make it last longer or you um, space them apart, basically you'll have to get more outposts sooner if you space them apart. And since I hate doing outposts, I don't know if you've noticed, um, I tend to just make them work and put them close together. Okay, here we go. So that's uh, happening. I think what we'll do here is just, we'll start with power poles. No, we won't. We don't want to start with power poles. We want to start with miners, but we're going to put them in a pattern. This is what speedrunners do. They do these kind of patterns so that they can put power poles in between like this. And that way they don't waste a space. So this is even better mining. Um, so they do this kind of thing. And then the next one, it's going to be kind of the same every time. And then you can put them together like this. That's quite, quite convenient. And that way you get better throughput on your miners. Okay. So these... I guess we can just do like two belts coming in because we do have... That's kind of what we have. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. I don't think it's going to be two full belts, for sure. There we go. Okay, so, of course, these need to be connected. There we are. So this one is going to be here. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to get this amount of stuff. Uh, do we have another patch? We do have this patch over here which can also be kind of shuttled in here. So let's see. One of our things is going to go into making a uh, this, basically just this. Let's copy paste it. We'll go ahead and let this uh, finish draining that area. But the next one will be from here. And I think I'm going to do a through... Um, a through design. Let's see. Let's do this. We can just turn it around and that'll be fine. This needs to be changed. So this is going to be fuel. So a way that you can get fuel, like be sneaky off of this thing is let's extend it by two and where we want only the coal. So we're going to put this thing. So what happens is you can put a line of stuff into here and it makes a cutout on the top, on the wide side of this thing. So what we can do is place this thing down and it's like, oh, wait, but it's going the wrong direction, right? Like, right, like this. But we can reverse it by pressing R and then you have fuel. Boom. Excellent. Okay. So now um, I want to take this away. And then reverse this belt. Whoopsies. So let's see what it looks like. There we go. Okay, cool. And this is going to be our bricks. 
still amazed that tree is there. It's probably going to die now, though. No, maybe not. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so one of our things is going to go there. The other one... Hmm. Should we... I think we should put it on this side. Even though there seems like a lot of room on that side, eh, it's a bit gnarly there. Uh, okay. So now we have a full belt of stone and a full belt of stone bricks coming in here. That's a lot of progress, I have to say. It's a lot better design than we had over there. Uh, because we're going to get more stuff in here. Now, if we want to fully saturate this belt with the bricks on it, we're going to have to have another one of these uh, things. But I don't think we have enough stuff here. So we needed, I think we need 45 for a single belt to saturate it. We have 29 and 44. So it's not quite enough. Um, so that means we'd have to tap this, uh, this belt here or this stone mine. We could do that. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's do the thing. It'll be fine. Excuse me. Okay. So what I'm going to do is going to just go here and grab some, a long length of red belt. This is what we want to do. Let's take this this way. And I'm going to go ahead and just connect this. Okay, do that. Okay. And then we're just going to kind of go across here. Okay, those are not needed. That's not needed. Okay. So, uh, so we don't have to come back here. What I'm going to do is we're going to just connect this one with this one. And this one, we're going to do a little bit of a sneaky thing real quick. To It's like a safety margin, basically. This one here. So those are going to connect together, and then we're going to connect them this way. Just to even them out on both sides to make sure that we're going to have always some stuff on the bus and always some stuff um, uh, going to the brick production. Okay, let's go here. Also... I'm sorry if I'm adding too many tips and tricks. I shouldn't probably say I'm sorry, um, but <laughs> I, I realize that it can be overwhelming. So we're going to try to divide this up into two. Actually, we don't need to divide it up technically. Uh, we can do something else entirely. What I'm going to do also, though, is I meant to press that. I'm going to change these the pathway of these guys. So they don't impede our possibilities here of making a stone mine. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. So um, let's go back here and copy this um, these these lines. They are very efficient. Let's do something like that. This is obviously going to have to be one sided, uh, but these can be better okay very nice and okay that looks fun of course fun is not usually a requirement for this but it's okay it will work Oh, whoops, this one is wrong. Need to make sure we have space for a power pole there. Okay, and this one needs an extra there. All right, and that's looking pretty good, except I have no more materials, so I need to go get some in the RoboPort range so we can get some more stuff going on here. I can, I think what I'm going to do though, is I'm gonna put a RoboPort down here so that it can be filled in by the bots. Okay, is that connected? It is, okay. And this one also needs RoboPort service, mostly because of auto deconstruct, that it'll deconstruct the miners when they are full and done. So this one, we need to change or make it even. 
And then we go down here. Mm -hmm. So we might need to do something like this. And this needs to be something like that. Be very careful around the train tracks. Remember, these are live. We've got we've got trains coming down them. So one of the easiest ways to ensure that you're getting plenty of stuff and it's coming on the lines is you can either use a belt balancer and shift them all, or you can just shift them, right? So what we want to do here is we want to do a... Um, something like this, where it's shifting all of the lanes into, you know, eventually the, the far lane. So we're going to do output priority left for all of these. Just paint them all on. And there we go. And this is more than enough. So it's going to use, obviously, the first lines first. Um, and then the last lines will get used last. But it doesn't really matter as long as we are getting... Um, all of this used eventually. So let's add these, make sure we have plenty of belts. And this one is sneaky. Good, good. We like sneaky, sneaky works. Okay. And so they are covered again by the robo ports and we are going to go back. I just want to make sure everything is working. There's a train. We don't get run over. That's better. Okay. So here is it. It's going to come into here. We don't particularly care whether we use this patch or the other one first. We just, oh, look, thank goodness. Hey, hey, we forgot to add a single undergroundy. Okay, so if you don't add a priority, it will pull evenly from each one. You see each belt is moving here. And let's come back up here and see. Since we have so much stone here, we could actually make another one of these, but it is looking pretty decent. We'd have to make the belt speed faster, which is okay too. Oh, it does look like we forgot to add the this thing to the bus, so that, that's a better thing to do. I do want to upgrade the belts, though. Um, I do want to upgrade both belts. Let's just upgrade both. And the reason for that is that we um, eventually, you know what? Let's just upgrade the whole bus, it doesn't matter. Um, it, it might be needed for landfill for one thing, concrete for another. So here we go, we'll just upgrade all this. Not, not that we'll ever need blue, blue circuit upgrading. It looks like they are delivering some of the landfill in here. It's hard to see, but you can see from up here. I don't know why it's so slow though, because I'm pretty sure that this thing has made a lot of landfill. 578 tiles of landfill. But maybe it's the shortage of stone here, or maybe it's all gone to the um, the train. Could be. So, yeah. But I'm thinking we might even add another belt here um, for stone. But that is going to have to wait because we're way, way, way over time. Um, I do really appreciate you being here, and I'm so glad that I'm, I'm, I've been getting a lot of comments, and I'm so glad you're enjoying the series. So um, if you enjoyed this episode, do please automate that like button and upgrade the subscribe button if you haven't already. That'll let you, the, uh, you it'll uh, allow YouTube to uh, notify you when I have new videos, and I do try to do those every single day. And um, yeah, I hope that, uh, yeah, I hope that you're going to have a great day. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.